Hey guys, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishment. Um, just FYI, I had a late lunch, so I'm still eating stuff, so I'll be eating on screen. And I'll be playing. And she'll be playing first and adjusting everything. And we'll, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start. And look at Sherlock's lovely face. Okay, I think we're gonna get started on a different case now. Uh, yeah. If you hear whining, we have five dogs and three of them want to get in here. So, that's what you're listening to. Nice whining. The game of the foot, not a word. Into your clothes and come. Um, huh? Okay. I'll wait for you in the sitting room. I've just received a note from Inspector Lestrade, a letter from the suburbs. He is in need of my presence. Okay. Whenever he has asked for my assistance, it has always turned out to be entirely justified. Yes, I fancy that every one of his cases has found its way into your collection. Uh, yes, they all seem worthy of... However, I regret your fatal habit of looking at everything from the point of view of a story instead of a scientific exercise. Oh, Holmes, you... I beg your pardon, I digress. It would be much better to examine this letter than to try to convince you. What? Okay. It's actually running things. Um, producer, does everything sound good? The letter is on the table, Holmes. You should take a look. Okay, thanks for telling me because I had no oh, idea. I, I can't walk around with your chair. I am confused. Well, that table or. Uh, oh, that table. I can't. There's too many tables. He's saying on the table. Oh, this table. Ow. Ha 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 ha. Found it. Wait, wait. I have to fix your green screen. It's all. Can you hold the bell? Oh. Alright, hold up. We gotta fix the green screen. Mm hmm. So professional. It's fine, chat. I'm just gonna eat my food. My nummy nummy food. Is that better? Yep. Okay. Are we Let's good now, producer? Read, read the letter. I can tell from Lestrade's handwriting that he was in a hurry when he wrote this letter. This, okay, Lestrade's handwriting, messy handwriting is, messy handwriting is neater than my handwriting when I'm trying to be neat. Uh, yeah. A wax seal with the monogram E.B. Okay. The Brackenstall family coat of arms. Are we gonna read said? Okay. Um. My dear Mr. Holmes, I should be very glad of your immediate assistance in what promises to be a most remarkable case. It's something quite in your line. Except for releasing the lady, I will see that everything is kept exactly as I have found it, but I beg you not to lose an instant to... Wait, I beg you... But I beg you not to lose an instant, as it is difficult to leave, sir. Uh, Eustace. Eustace there. Yours faithfully, Inspector Lestrade. And we have accomplishments. I just want to get rid of the best. I want to get rid of that high accomplishments. So, what is it, Holmes? Promising, as always. It appears to be a case of murder. Really? So you believe that Sir Eustace is dead? Eustace. I should say so. Lestrade wouldn't have sent for me for less. His writing shows considerable agitation and he is not an emotional man. These people belong to high society. The quality of the writing paper, the EB monogram, their coat of arms. The crime was committed before midnight. Holmes, how can you possibly tell? Well, it is all thanks to Lestrade. He wrote his letter at 3.30 in the morning. Imagine the chain of events before that. The local police had to be called in. Scotland Yard was notified. Lestrade himself had to make haste there, 
and finally composed the letter he sent to me. All of that makes for a fair night's work. It makes sense. Lestrade also speaks of the woman he released. That seems to indicate that she had been held somewhere during the crime. Much time has been wasted. Let us find a cab and go to Abbey Grange immediately. I live in hope of an interesting morning. As always. So let's go. Alright. Because right now we got nothing to do. Woo woo. Off on another adventure. This time we ain't gonna mess up. Watson, here you are. I'm very glad that you have come, but perhaps I should not have troubled you after all. And why is that? Did they figure it out? Lady Brackenstall has come to her senses, and she has given so clear an account of the affair that there is not much left for us to do. You remember that Lewisham gang of burglars? What, the three Randalls? Exactly. The father and two sons. It's their work. They stole a silver service, which is of great value. Sir Eustace Brackenstall is dead, then? Yes. His head was knocked in with his own poker. A violent act of aggression. Yes, Ew. the poor lady. She has had a most dreadful experience. She was assaulted and tied to a chair. But I think that you would best see her and hear her account of the facts. She is in the morning room with her maid, to raise a right. Where is the body of the deceased? In the dining room. We haven't touched anything. All right. I'm going to examine it. Very good, Watson. Very good, Watson. Okay. All right, so where are we going? Uh, oh, so we're supposed to go to Ooh. find Lady, the woman, and talk to her. This is it. Okay, I'm assuming that's it. Another cutscene. Walk two steps in a cutscene. Ladies, allow me to introduce myself. Oh, jeez. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Yikes. I'm assisting Inspector Lestrade in this investigation. Mr. Holmes. I am the wife of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. We were married only a year ago. I am Ooh. sorry for your loss. Please accept my deepest condolences. I suppose that it is no use my attempting to conceal that our marriage has not been a happy one. I fear that all would tell you that, even if I were to attempt to deny it. Well, that's not Can good. you describe to me the events of yesterday evening? Is it really necessary? I have already told Inspector Lestrade all we that happened. You want to know, though? The players yes, haven't madam, heard. it is. I will tell you then. Sir Eustace retired about half past ten. I sat in this room until after eleven, absorbed in a book. Before I went hey, upstairs, like me. I entered the dining room to fetch a candle and... Oh, God. Please, go on. As I approached the French window... I found myself face to face with an elderly, broad-shouldered man who had just stepped into the room. Close behind the first man, I saw two others. One of them struck me a savage blow with his fist and felled me unconscious to the ground. And then? When I came to myself, I found that they had secured me tightly to a dining room chair. It was at that instant my unfortunate husband entered the room. He fought with the intruders? Yes. I think he had heard them, for he was holding his stick. But they were three, and he eventually succumbed. One of them, the elder one, struck him a terrible blow with the poker. I fainted once more. When I opened my eyes, they had withdrawn. Then my brave Teresa came to my assistance. Did these three villains steal anything? Yes. I found that they had taken the silver from the sideboard. But you can see for yourself in the dining room. Okay. He's gonna do character inspections. Oh wait, I've forgotten how to do this. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, I clicked it. It's not even thing. Can you... Oh, I heard something. Was there two more? Oh, those are all bruises. bruises. Wait.
You mentioned that your marriage was not a happy one. Was there anything specific that was troubling you? He was not a nice man when he was drunk. And he suffered from dark moods, but nothing else. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, bruises. The bruises on your hands are at least one week old. Your husband caused those bruises? Oh, do you? Yes, he did. He was very angry at the time. Out of control. Again. Sir Eustace was a drunkard. To be tied to such a man for life is worse than death. Your ladyship. Okay. All right, now we know what happened. Because before I was a oh, well, um, T. What? Wait, what am I looking for? I don't know. What am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, oh, the picture. Oh, chairs, jeez. Hmm. These scratches are most definitely made by the picture frame. I'm um, some dude. Uh, turn around so you can see the the gal. So that girl's wife died, the one sitting down the chair. Um, They were like attacked no, by husband. three guys. Or husband. <laughs> husband. <laughs> what is the wife. She is the wife of the dead husband. My brain. I'm tired, okay? But You're her husband... Tired. Um, they were attacked by like three dudes, and so he died, and she was like traumatized. But that's so far all that's happened. And now we got a okay. A wait. trapper's hut. Okay, now <gasps> a safe. It's this always behind the picture. This is Sir Eustace's safe. There may be something important inside. I must ask Lady Brackenstall to open it. Okay. All right. So we'll ask the girl. Hang on, hang on. There's lock safe in the morning room at the Abbey Grange, or Grange Estate. It might contain some important information. <coughs> Get her to open Lady it. Lady has old bruises on her hands. They are approximately approximately one week old, and it seems to be a robbery, which turns into a murder. Lady Brackenstall was sold to tied to a chair. Sir. Eustace Brackenstall, which tried to resist, is dead. His head was knocked in with some poker. According to the Lady Brackenstall words, it was L Lewisham gang of burglars, the three Randalls. So that's those are the three dudes. Yeah, the three dudes. Lady Brackenstall, not quite twenty-five, is from a wealthy Australian family. She has been married for a little more than a year. She has, in all probability, suffered physical violence over the course of the last four years. Lady s lives a solitary lifestyle, seldom venturing outside. <clears throat> My throat is... <clears throat> Hence her freaking paleness. Holy moly. Girl, you need some sun. <laughs> like, you need sun. Yeah, I know what you'll say. Can you go where... I oh, I'm hitting the wrong key. <laughs> I was hitting Z instead of A. Lady Brackenstall, could you open this wall safe? No, it is my husband's safe. I do not know the combination. We have to open it. We must! Your ladyship. Oh, maybe I can talk to her. Yes, I can talk to her. Teresa, I would like to hear your testimony. Certainly, Girl, sir. come on. As I sat by my bedroom window, I saw three men in the moonlight down by the lodge gate. But I thought nothing of it at the time. Oh, if I'd known. And then? I went to bed, and it was more than an hour after that I heard my mistress scream. And down I ran, to find her tied to the chair and him on the floor with his head smashed. That's all I know. Again, I've forgotten how to play this game. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Very. Poppy saying. That was fast. I know, I was like, what is that? I noticed that too. It was very, very tiny. Oh, that might have been yeah, that might have been the coffee stain. Let us try to open this safe. Ooh, am I gonna get this to pick? This safe one? can pick? be cracked. I only have to pay attention. The dial will vibrate when it is set to the correct number. Girl, have fun. Ah. Fifteen, fifteen. There's fifteen. I'm gonna focus. I'm, I'm probably very boring, but I'm trying to focus. Oh, I freaking. This is gonna take forever. It's it's this. Don't spam the button, jeez. It's eighteen. Okay, fine. It's not gonna be one number. It's gonna be a set of numbers. What happened? No, that was the first one. And I'm assuming this would be this the second one will vibrate. Oh, you just gotta be very specific. <sighs> Yay. That was really loud. Sir Eustace, your current physical and mental state is of great concern. There are several signs of a hip hepatic decompensation the last time we that we met your eyes were bloodshot and your skin was tinged with yellow there's a particular odor from your breath that is common in the suffering from liver damage then there are the lung abs abscesses that we have discussed the leg cramps you have described to me are caused by an an alter <laughs> an alteration <laughs> Hold on, I read the, the <laughs> chicken crackle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do the words. Which in turn is caused by an excess of alcohol. That includes the tremors. Your liver seemed excessively hard at the time of your examination, which is a sign of evolving cirrhosis. I probably butchered that word, but meh. There are also signs of... I'm not going to try. <laughs> Fluid in the... Now you're gonna try <laughs> cavity, which are evident with your swollen stomach. The pain beneath your left rib indicates a pancreatic mal 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 malady, which may lead to fatal and fulminant pancreatitis. Pan pancreatitis. Your condition may pose a risk to others. Your excessive alcohol consumption <laughs> and conclusion <laughs> Your condition may pose as a risk to others. Your excessive alcohol consumption lowers your self-control and heightens your aggression. Well, duh, we already know that. I'm available to help you with this problem. There are a number of treatment options. All right. Money, it money, is money. common practice to keep one's valuables in a safe behind a painting. It should not really pose a challenge for a criminal. Antique coins, possibly of value, but they're scattered without care. Chalk's like, you gotta organize your safe, man. <laughs> organize the safe. Alright, should we talk to her and tell her that there's like this... Oh, what a horrible... I don't know. Oh, we can talk to her again. Ooh! Can Sir I ask her? Eustace's doctor speaks of his violent behavior. Yes, Sir Eustace was an extremely violent man. A detestable human being, to be more precise. It is true that he once threw a decanter at me, and all because I dared to stand up to him in defense of my mistress. Sly devil. 
God forgive me that I should speak of him so now that he's dead. But a devil he was. If ever one walked the earth, we met him only 18 months ago. She'd only just arrived in London. Yes, it was her first voyage. She'd never been from home before. One her with his title and his money and his false London ways. If she made a mistake, she has paid for it, if ever a woman did. She doesn't have any friends here, so it was specially hard for her. I feel bad for this lady, but I feel like she has something to do with it. Are we going to remember this? Why? Are we going to remember this? We can run! We can run! I forgot. What was it? Uh, Saves red herring. Um, I don't know. What do we do now? Well, we just found out the medical thing, so. What are you doing just still sitting out here? Just chilling like nothing's wrong. Ah! You should examine the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. I thought you did, Watson. But first, I'll look around the room. Wait, you Oh, this is the chair that she was tied up in. Sailor's knots. That's interesting. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound to follow. <gasps> Toby! Them. Oh, Toby! Take it with me. Toby, 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 Toby. Toby. Please say we get to you, Toby. Oh, Toby, Toby, Toby. This is Go find Toby! Lady Brackenstall was Hold tied up. to. Oh my goodness, dogs. Sorry, we have dogs of our own. They're not hounds. They can help us, but... Yes, you go find Toby! That's what we said! I told you. Where have you been? Give me a high five still, though. That's not a high five. <laughs> Girl. Oh, this is, this is lovely. So, Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received the blow <clears throat> to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. The head was cracked with the force of the blow. That's massive. Ah! That must be the murder weapon. Barefoot. He had therefore been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. That's what I was thinking. Quite a large stick, a formidable weapon. Um. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Forget the blood dripping from his face. His feet look gross. <laughs> he needs a shower. I literally was like. His feet look weird. The death of Sir Eustace could have been due to a poker blow. Could have been due. Could have been. Really? Wait a sec. Could have been. Oh, wait, hold up. I forgot that there's more. But wait, there's more. No personal life. That's it. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. I feel like there's something else. Okay, so look at his head. In the poker. Eh. Mm. Eh. Mm. I'm trying to... I feel like you... There would be. There should be more. Just feet. And feet. And stick. That's it. But we need yeah. to go find Toby. Let's go find Toby. I mean, there's things... You gotta look around the room. Hold up, wait. Teresa is very attached to her mistress and has known her for a considerable time. She's the only resident servant servant at the Abbey Grange, cooking for a serving and nursing lady Reconcile. She would not hesitate to protect her in the event of any trouble. Oh, I like her. The icon isn't green. All right, girl. What do you mean by the icon? Inspect the room, yeah. Ooh, a fur yeah. trader's cabin. A fur trader's cabin. Okay, good. Producer, can you deal with the doggos? I know, I'm trying to 
There's no way. Barefoot. Mm. No. Barefoot. Mm. Quite mm. a lot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That mm. must. Mm. The mm. head. Mm. But there is nothing else. I'll come back to it later. Because there's nothing else. I uh, know. I mean, it, it I certainly it's not the room. Bug. Ooh. 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 A decanter standing next to the open bottle. An inseparable pair indeed. I don't know what a decanter Chateau is. Chateau Calon Segur. French wine. Grand Cru. Those words totally just... Okay. Oh. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. There is beeswing at the bottom, as if the wine had not been decanted before being poured. I don't know what decanter is. This glass has some wine traces. It is rather strange that only one of these glasses has dregs of beeswing inside it, while the other two are clear. I don't know what that stuff is, though. They so seems... Ooh. Tea. Oh, I can hear my, my footstep. Footsteps, like, quite loudly. Loudly. <laughs> loudly. <laughs> loudly. <laughs> loudly. <laughs> okay, it's speak today. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> you just stepped <laughs> on some glass. out the way. The painting you a mantelpiece. Oh, you have the stolen item. It appears that the bell rope was cut by someone taller than me. That's the rope that was tied to the chair, because it had a little tassel at the end. So it. I said, do this. So, go up to it. Do something. Can't. Right. A foot. Yeah, okay, we got that. Can we look at any of the stuff over here? Please? Hello? Alright, we'll try going oh, over here. Alright, hold up. Anything over here? This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. I think they came here for one specific thing. These wine bottles are expensive and mostly from France. Hmm. These wine. Oh, whoops. These wine. These wine. These. 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 <laughs> Just trying to make sure he doesn't say something different. <laughs> box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. But not the candlestick. <laughs> but not the candlestick. But not the candlestick. <laughs> Or anything else. A oh. bottle of wine is missing here. The there criminals yeah. did not thoroughly ransack the house. They only took a little silverware. Oh. Oh, that's the same thing. Whoops. Right, but it did not say that I examined the entire room, so gonna go. The hunting. Ooh. This door leads to the upstairs bedrooms. Apparently, the criminals did not venture there. Hmm. Okay, the chair. No, those. No, that behind Watson. There's nothing. Watson, you were just annoying and in the way. Uh, we don't want to leave yet. There's just oh. A trapper's hut. A trapper's hut. What are you say? We can go out here. What? I thought that was a bird. It's just a leaf. Huh? Oh, opening the door comes to music. I don't want to explore this whole area. Oh, 
Ah, scared me. This is, this is loud. Walk the, around the, the way wall. The Sherlock walked away when you went, ah, he's just like, okay, walking this way now. <laughs> well, I scream, Sherlock just calmly walks on. It's a lovely <laughs> yeah. day. A lovely day to investigate a murder. <laughs> I love the little emoji thing you put with it. It's just like... Rainbow nacho. Oh! There's a shed right here. I didn't see it! Hello, Mr. Shed. I can't go in the shed. Oh, that's lovely. Come on. Let me in. I can see that there are some items in there. I want to investigate. Alright, well... It doesn't say I inspected everything in the room. In this shed. In this shed. I'm just gonna go back into the murder room. Let's see, let's get uh, I'll be right back. Ooh. Antique hunting weapons. But that's we still have to investigate the whole room. We'll see you in a minute. Jeez, what the heck? I'm so, Cause it says you have to investigate the whole room. And I've done this. Done that. I've done these pictures. I did the rifles. I did the door. I did all the pictures. I did the body. I swear I did everything. What the? I know, like the magnifying glass it is supposed to be green. So what have I not examined? I've examined everything over. Oh, found it. It is covered in blood. Sir so Eustace fine. might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. That blood is everywhere. All right, there we go. Now we have fully inspected the. Hello, doggos. We have some doggos. Oh my goodness. Egg, you've got oh, hi Lambo. Someone over Ah! Scare me. Okay, when I make a deduction, I get scared. Oh, gross! Bacon, why? Alright, three people. There are three people drinking wine out of these glasses. One of the three probably prefers wine with beeswing. Which I don't know up, what that up, is. Up, so, up. like. What did you find? Um, in. So, when you go to the body, you know how you're saying, like the magnifying glass wasn't green so like we hadn't completely uh, looked yeah. at everything well the fireplace right there you had to look at the grate and it was like there was just blood all over it hey no get out of there don't do that no 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 come, come here oh, oh. show everybody your beautiful little face come here come here oh come on here's higher lambo up. higher up there's there's chips up here so be careful he was murdering over giving him the wrong alcohol here's lambo I'm trying to get Nova. Nova, come on. Up, 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 Yeah, Nova. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And here's Nova. Yeah, She's oh, Harvey's Harvey sister. Took and she loves Lambo. There's food up there, man. Oh, yeah. I just doggo. feel nice. And then this doggo. There's three doggos. Hi. <laughs> yes, hi. She's like, yes. hi, Rihanna. Yes. Oh, he's so trying to get over there. And Harvey's over there being a really good boy. And we also have the two little go, hi, Chihuah chihuahuas. Come here, Harvey. Dad. We've shown before, but she's a new. She's a sweetheart when she's being good. Sister to this little guy. She just likes to play, and she has a lot of energy. And this is her. That's her brother, Harvey. Come here, in the camera. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, oh yeah, you're a good boy. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's such a good boy. I love doggos. All right, well, we gotta go. Okay. Right there. We gotta go play our game. Nova. We gotta go play our game. This one's a cuddle bug. So it's hard. All right, we need to go find out who done it. We need to find out who killed who who killed it? this guy. Who done it? She's like, oh, killed. I'm out. <laughs> oh no, it's food over. <laughs> a double Ooh. bow. Ooh. Come here. Nice, cute girl. Here, I'll yeah. I'll hold on to her. Yeah, you you hold on to the, to the murder. Puppers. Okay, we're gonna finish this murder case. case. There are two people drinking wine out of these glasses. The remaining glass with the bees wing consisted solely of the dregs from the other two glasses. I don't know this. I'm just gonna assume one. What happens if I do this? You just have another assumption. I don't know. Well, aren't you gonna change it? Ooh. 
Oh, whoa. Deadly accident. The death of Sir Eustace could have been due to his accidentally striking his head on a fireplace grate. Or, the death of Sir Eustace Fact. could have been due to a poker blow. Because it was specifically, like, a crack in his head. I really think it was that. Like, someone murdered him. Wait, I know what happened. What? Spill it. The wind Tell did us. it. No. Why? No, don't. Please don't say the wind. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No. Oh, uh, all right. Where's Lambo? Fine. Now we gotta watch the wind watch did out. it. Okay, solved. Case solved. Is. All right. Nova. 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 All right, so we made some deductions. Now we can freaking leave. Um, maybe go talk to the gal. Oh wait, no, we need to go find Toby. Toby, 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 now he's probably Mine's begging to, to leave. <laughs> Never mind, I don't want to be here. She's laying down. Oh. She's a good girl. Someone She's at your feet. Toby. Oh, no, he's not in his usual spot on the couch. Toby, we need you. Toby, wherefore art thou? Where's Toby? There he is. Toby, Toby, Toby. Take. It Come just on, says take. Toby. We need the best nose in the British Empire on this case. Look at oh little my gosh. Toby. I'm excited. I agree with you, Toby, that... Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. That's rude. Digital Jeez. doggo. Wait, hold up. Is he coming with us? Come on, Toby. Come here, Toby. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to have... I know I'm excited to have a dog on the case with I us. I agree with you. Come on, come on, come on, Toby. Come on. Doggo. Wow. <laughs> that was a very delayed reaction. Holy moly. All right, maybe take him with us to the place. Yes, we get Toby! Oh, look at him, he's so adorable. She's like, who's adorable? Who's adorable? Uh, this doggo, look, it's a doggo. No. It's a no. doggo. <laughs> All right, what kisses. All right, I'll let Lambo out. Let oh my goodness. Search, Toby. Oh my goodness, we're Toby! We're Toby! Look, oh, look, look, we're Toby! Look at him! Oh, we're Toby! Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. Lambo, shush! Can somebody just growl? Lambo's probably thinking, okay, just give me two seconds. All I have to do is lift up Oh, your game. short hair is everywhere! So we are being, repl Nova's replacing Renan today. Toby's love Toby's life. Nova is replace is replacing Renan today. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. I'm gonna wait for you because this is super cool. Okay, okay, let me. Okay, I'm hurry coming, up. I'm coming, I'm coming. I wanna wait because you gotta see this girl. Girl, you got Don't to you see this. Don't you girl me. Girl, you gotta see this. Toby we'll play in Toby. Toby's life. I know. You got to do. You got to crack a code okay. on a safe. I get to play a dog. I get to be a dog and sniff out who done it. Right? She's trying to so lay down in my his arms. Floppy little but like ears. it hurts. Like All right, you girl. take the doggo. I will become no. a doggo. No. No kisses. No kisses. No kisses. No kisses. We're so slow. Can we hold shift to run? Look at him run! Oh, that was adorable. No licking. <laughs> Call Sherlock. Look at that's a little paw. Oh, I'm loving this. Like, yo, Sherlock, let me out. I can't believe we're playing Toby. I'm so happy. They walked in a very straight path, though. Like these criminals. There we go. It's the invisible shed. Oh, you get to go in the invisible shed. Sniff. Wait, I get to sniff the shed. <laughs> By okay. sniff, you mean. The intruders entered the shed for some reason when they were making off with the silverware. No, you don't get to oh. play Toby anymore, do you? Oh, oh, you do. No, I still get to be Toby. Because what they did next was they came over here. Ooh, woo. 
This baby. This baby. Oh my goodness. And I love that he can run because if he didn't run, we'd literally so be just cute. be doing this. But he can run! Look at him go. Oh, Toby. Bork, bork. Oh, The scent leads to the well. I should check it. Good boy, Toby. So, so far you gotta check the shed and the well. Ooh. I picked up a new trail, Sherlock! Hi, you following me? No, you are literally just standing there watching me. He'll come work. when you call him. Probably climbed over the wall. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall. He's speaking without moving his lips. Did you see that? The criminals left the house through the French window. They walked to the shed, then across to the well, before fleeing by climbing over the wall. I wonder why they chose such a winding <laughs> Plot twist, he's, he's just chasing, chasing a squirrel. That's hilarious. Oh no, Toby! Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Oh, such a good doggo! I'm so happy right now! Oh, Toby's such a and good doggo! And Nova's home. asleep. I'm not gonna but we can run too. the rest of the day. Run, Sherlock! It's okay, it's to okay. the invisible- where's the invisible shed? I think these dogs leave on Sunday, and I'm just hoping it's after 4 o'clock, Larry. I'm praying. I'm praying for you. See, now we can enter the shed. This hook might be useful. For what? Hold up. You need you need doggo. Hold up. You need this doggo. She's a bags cuddler. Seed. Some empty bags were recently moved. Doggos are yay. Doggos are life. Right, investigate the bags right now. Small gardening tools. Nothing of great interest. All right, Larry. Right, see you in a second. This old suitcase sounds hollow. It must be empty. Find anything of interest? So we gotta follow Toby's trail back over here. I'm getting into the well. There's something glittering at the bottom there, but how can I reach it? How Plastic to reach it? Bucket. Maybe the bucket. You have to uh, examine that. If only I had something with which I could lift that object. The hook you picked up from the shed. Sorry, you can. The wheel handle is old and rusty. It seems to be used infrequently. I if can... only I had something with which I could... I... If only I had something... I can, with the little hook I picked up from the shed. Go back to the bucket. Oh. Okay. Silverware. This is hardly a coincidence. I'm so confused right now. The Brackenstall coat of arms. It appears that we have found the stolen silverware. Why would they leave it in a well? Robbery is the motive. Robbery is confirmed as the motive for the crime. The criminals may have plans to return from the silverware that they dumped or imitated robbery. The robbery could have been imitated to explain Sir, Sir Eustace's death. The silverware was not supposed to be found. Definitely. Because they wouldn't have been... Because they didn't take the... Can, the... The candle thing. What's it called? Oh man, her hair is everywhere. She she sheds. Girl, you need you need a brush. Catch Sorry, I'm half out hair. of frame. I can't really move any closer. All right, what do I do now? In my lap. So we found everything. Inspect the room where Lady Brackenstall is resting. So let's go do that. Let's go finish that little mini quest. 
I forgot Sherlock can run! Run, Sherlock Holmes! Run! Through the doors, thank you. So we need to finish inspecting this room. Because the voices told me so. Oh, we can expect this inspect. Expect. Inspect! This small thing. All I can hear is a clock. This photograph of Lady Brackenstall and her maid Teresa was taken at a port, but which one? Is this? Wait, I can rotate it. So the lady and her maid came from Australia a year and a half ago on this ship. Hmm. We are very talkative. Very talkative. Alright, no acquaintance. Lady Brackenstall married Sir Eustace shortly after arriving in England and remained at home during that time. There is little possibility that she or her maid are acquainted with anyone in the country or acquainted with a sailor. Lady is acquainted with someone from the Rock of Gibraltar. I'm thinking that. Duke, but um, we still need to investigate the room. Eh. We can examine this. Family business booming. The Randall gang is back on the street. Less than a fortnight ago, this infamous family of burglars, the Randalls as they are known, made their reappear reappearance by way of a brutal but oh my gosh, successful intrusion into one of the wealthier homes in Sydenham. The police are already on their trail. However, the details of the crime are being kept confidential, including that of the name of the victim. A witness was able to provide a precise description of all three men, and this will surely give the police a chance to complete their profile of, on this family of delinquents. We would take the liberty of reminding our esteemed readers about this highly dangerous band, and to provide the full description as it is available at this moment. The gang has been in business for some considerable time, being a family of three, a father and his two sons. The elder, Jack Randall, is a man in his 40s and already gray-haired, dang, <laughs> while of average height and build. Being the mastermind behind the burglaries, he retains control over his sons, both of whom are close in age but very different in appearance. The first son, William Randall, is tall and broad-shouldered with a small, disproportionate head. The younger brother, Melvin Randall, is of somewhat weaker constitution and is as skinny as a rake. The gang is want is wanted not only for their frequent thefts and break-ins, but for the exceptionally brutal pirate career they enjoyed before returning to England. Be alert and may your val valuables stay safe. The description of the Randall gang provided by Lady Brackenstall is identical to the one in the Times article. Hold up, my hair is like annoying me. I'm gonna do this. Alright, eh, Randall's are going down. Gimme. The robbery is faked and the whole story inve invented in order to blame Sir Eustace's death on the Randalls or the testimonies and evidence match and point to the Randall game. Yeah. Go back. Well. Oh, wait, girl, okay, okay, girl, okay, girl, give girl, me girl, 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 yes. girl, girl. No, that's not it. You gotta change the. Oh, I guess. Wait a minute. I really do think it's that. Because it, it's not expected. Mm. Hey, Harvey. All right. Well, Hi, now let's do a do. Oh, we can talk to her. Okay. There are three glasses on the dining room table. 
I was wondering if... Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have been a father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers, and then they left. We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. I do need my fork and my knives Lord and my spoons. <laughs> you know, we can talk to her too. Be like, yo, we found the silverware. It's super important. We found your mistress's silverware. Oh, that's good news. You really are as clever as they say. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, I am. All right. Well, um, now what do we do? Can we talk to Sir Wartham Brackenstall? Can I look at another picture? Oh wow, you gotta get the Inspector Lestrade's messing this up. Ah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, my husband, I'm just glad my silverware is Lord safe. Brigham Brackenstall. Oh, he's what a was Lord. the name? I, I didn't hear it. <laughs> it wasn't Lord something Brackenstall. Lord, Lord Ramsay Brackenstall. Baron Linden Brackenstall. They all look the same. Except for this dude. Lord George Brackenstall. The Brackenstall family seems rather austere. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> I don't know half the words of this. What do you know about Sir Eustace, Inspector? What was his reputation? A charming man when sober, but an absolute demon when he was drunk. In such moments, he was apparently capable of anything. Why, once he splashed fuel on Lady Brackenstall's dog and set it alight. Another day, he threw a decanter of wine at Miss Wright's head. Oh, wait, but the doggo! The alcohol seemed to madden him. The doggo! To the point that we were forced to intervene several times to avoid a scandal. No! But the uh, doggo! Excuse me? But the doggo! Me? Wait, Nova, the what don't now? listen. It's not for you to hear. Shh, don't listen. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, Nova. It's okay. It's okay. Ugh. This guy was Inspector, not nice. I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In yeah, was it, Harry? Well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? Excuse Rather me? absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place, or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. Yes, it is. Indeed it is. Sir Eustace was violent towards his wife. Really? Oh. Whoa. Okay. All those just like connected. Murderous visitor Sir Eustace was murdered by the one person who was visiting la that night. It was he who tied up Lady Brackenstall. He is tall and strong. But the three people had the wine glasses. So is she lying? No, she couldn't be. I don't think so. Hold up. One person. There was more than one person. There were three people. It's it ha it's not a motive though. Hmm. The Randalls are guilty. Sir Eustace was murdered by the Randall gang. Robbery is confirmed as a motive of the crime. I really don't think so because then this case would be solved. Hold up. Glory to Lestrade. The case is too simple for you. Take this opportunity to give all the credit to your friend Lestrade. Your name will not appear in the press. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying it's too simple. The speed with which you resolve this thorny problem is indicative of genius. The police naturally only demonstrated their incompetence. <laughs> wow, no, it's much deeper than this. Or it wouldn't be Sherlock Holmes. I'm so confused. Hold up, we need to exit. <laughs> now you gotta change all those other things, remember? I'm serious, I'm seriously like, there's nowhere else to go. 
there I really do think it was the Randalls. It had to have been. All right, we're just gonna go with that because you know, in the oops, we in, can in see the end and say we always go back anyway. So we're just gonna go with. Don't trump um, the police. Glory to Lestrade. Holmes, the thing is, Sherlock Holmes would do this, but I us, don't care what Sherlock we're gonna Holmes do this. Do. <laughs> um, yes, we're gonna do the right thing, but Sherlock Holmes would do that. Confirm being and nice. Well, Inspector, this case proved to be a simple one after all. You think it's the Randall gang, then? Yes. No. I'll put my men on it straight away. <laughs> I'll leave exactly, that to you, Larry. Inspector. After all, you have handled this matter quite brilliantly. Oh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. I do appreciate it. I don't think it's right. Hold up, hold up. Hold to check your conclusion. It may spoil game experience. Oh! Yeah, we even found all the clues. Yeah, yeah we I are, knew it. Um, replay ending. We haven't even found all of them clues. Well, I didn't so think they so. did not do it. And I is so So you gotta change the deductions. Alright, yeah, I wanna change those. Yeah, I was it's told you this too simple. Filed. I am getting too old for this. It was some robbery. Yeah. It was some robbery. So we were right in the first place. So it was a murderous visitor. Ooh. Ooh, we is confusion, yes. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Ooh, whoa. Alright, so we only found 13 of 16 clues. We need to go and find some more. I keep looking at this monitor. Toby. Brave. Oh, the same thing. But oh, I forgot that I can just. Okay, so we went to the shed, and we found nothing. Wait, hold up. She's the like shed. dead asleep. We never found anything. Oh, we found the hook. Never mind. We need to find three more clues. I don't mm -hmm. know what clues Normally we're good at finding all the clues, but I like... guess it's a deduction. Oh my goodness. At least we don't have to travel from place to place. It's only here. You know, like Can we rooms. talk to somebody? I just saw something. That's the hunting rifles. That is like a dramatic pose. Just gazing out of the window. His hand dramatically against the big glass. Like, that's just. Oh, what a. Ugh. Please leave my Mary alone. She suffered so much, she deserves some rest. You're in on it. <laughs> no, I don't think she is. Dang! Wait, what room? What room? The murder room? Yeah, the murder room. What? Moida. Moida room. Moida. Moida. I'm in the Moida room. In the corner, a statue. Yeah, but there's no. I can't. There's the just pictures. Scene. A hunter's cabin. Just them pictures. Well, maybe you haven't examined all the pictures. They're all about hunting. A trapper's hut. I know, right? Go back. A hunter scene. Hmm. A deer hunt. The Brackenstall family appear to be preoccupied with hunting. Told you. All them pictures. <gasps> oh, 
the sailor. The sailor done it. The sailor done did it. Can we go visit the sailor though? The hey, are you going? <laughs> it just like went. Whoop. What's it doing? This is mesmerizing. Hold up. No, go away. <laughs> he's been. He's been. He protect. He had to wait. Rhiannon. He had. He. He gives snack. Get away! All right. So can we visit the sailor's place? Tap. Me? Oh, oh! I can go back home and I can go back home. I can go back home and perform a chemistry test. Which, okay. by the way, we passed chemistry A with low A's. Um, a. I am shooketh. I don't know how I could have done that. And I'm just, I don't, I don't understand because chemistry is hard. All ye who will take chemistry, beware. You must. I can go back Let's home. I really can after school. Oh, how was it cut? The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. It was skizzers. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. Skizzers. Those pliers. It's not the scissors, it's the pliers. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. Told ya. Skizzers. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. If I cut the rope with a knife, it matches the original. Was a knife. Sailor background, the rope was cut once with a sharp knife and tied quickly in sailor's knots. That could indicate that the intruder had a sailor's background. Now we make some more deductions. Look for sailor. The person who was visiting that night was probably a sailor. Can I go look for a sailor? Search for sailor suspects. Lambo! Can I go somewhere new? But I can't go anywhere new. I can't go like to like a house or anything. Well, maybe I can ask her. Is that Lambo? Where's Harvey? Yeah, Harvey's Where's Harvey? right here. Oh. Lambo's like Lambo hey, just chill. He has dad with him. Lambo needs to chill. Oh. No, can I? Please. Can I just where sailors? Please can ask Lestrade. Yeah. Holmes, don't look at me like that. I don't know what to think about all this. How dramatic. But, 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 but no, Harvey. Holmes, do you know a place where I can, uh, I mean, Watson? Where's Watson? Oh, no, where's Watson? John Harvey. Harvey. Harvey, come here. Shushy, shush. I'm trying to think. Harvey. Where the hey are we supposed to go find some Sellers. Harvey, come here. How is we supposed to find the sailor? Where is I supposed to look for said sailor? I'm going to go to yeah. a ch uh, tasks. Search for possible sailor suspects. Where though? Good hell though. Um. Alright, let's go back home. Oh, maybe like in like our um documents. Check the well. <laughs> check the well. Uh, no, we already checked the well. There aren't any sailors over there. Nambo, stop it. It's the silverware! What's well, Ed? Where do we what go? What should we do next? That was a question I was asking you! Uh-huh. But for Sherlock. Yeah. 
All right, well, maybe we can check like documents. Come here, Harvey. Um, I don't need letters. I need research. Rock of Gibraltar, 1893. The name of the ship and the date of Lady Brackenstall and her uh, voyage well, well, from Australia. 1893. I know. That's research, not really. No, 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 no. Hit no. Up here. Oh. Ta-da. Now you go to... Arrival of the Rock of... Wait, you haven't had a second turn. I don't care. I've got a dog in my lap. Okay. Arrival of the Rock of Gibraltar. A ship return. The Rock of Gibraltar. A bulk carrier from the name... Uh, from the... Uh, London line. <laughs> building James Street, London. Has returned from a six-month voyage through India, New Zealand, and Australia. And Australia. The ship brought to England Miss Mary Freight... Fraser and the heiress of the Fraser <laughs> family owning land in tin. I thought it said ten mines. Tin mines in Australia. This reportedly beautiful young lady is presently engaged to Sir Eustace Brackenstall, one of the wealthiest gentlemen in Kent. Here it is. Tin memes. Tin memes. She owned tin memes. All right, well now what? The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London line and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. Oh, Gib pretend Gibraltar. Oops. I'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. The address the rock of... Uh, Gibraltar? Ship over there can be fine. We can find the coolest there. We can find... Oh, wait, where are we supposed to go? Hey! We can't go there. Where did Watson go? Oh, there he is. Uh, Watson, I don't know where to go, though. <laughs> Hello? Wait, wait, wait. I, where are we supposed to go? Deb. Okay, dog. Oh, task for Wiggins. Who's Wiggins? Oh, whoa, 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 Get out, get out, get out. I'm shaking the whole table. Get out of there. Get out. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It's those, 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 the, the, the little, the, 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 no, the, the, the window! <laughs> Call oh, the games! Cool. I was like, who the heck is Wiggins? They're cute little kids. I don't Wiggins, know what they're called. You come upstairs, please? So cute! Such a cute little dude. Hi, don't Hi like sweet these. doggo. At your service, Mr. Holmes. I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 Gibraltar. and their current employment. She's I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Do you really think they'll find it, Holmes? My secret police is better than the Yard in many ways. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Three hours. Three hours later. Here it is, Mr. Holmes. But we can't take it back. It's too risky. Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. Alright. Go to the table. To the hey, table. Hey, There's hey, like three hey, tables. Hey, Which table? Hey, this one? No, no, like, no, Which like, table? Oh, there we go. The table. There's like three this tables. This shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. 
Oh, she's and a these good are the girl. lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide Southampton London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the seventh. November twelfth. Three five six. This this list shows No. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. I do not think I do not this off Wait. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Okay. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. I do not think that I do not think I do not This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Okay. I do not think that I do not think I do not think I do not th say I do not think thinking one more time. When you can spam left click. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I do not think this officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Boom. All right, next page. Spam it. Mr. Jack Crocker Ooh. was in London upon the date of the crime, and he is due to depart in two days. Ooh, well. I put my mark. I do not think. I do not look for I, Thomas Walker and do, Mr. Herbert. Not, I do not. We only have one more page. I can still spam the left. I do not think that this sailor has Read any. the names. I do not. No. I do not think. This officer is still at sea. This officer is still at sea. So, Mr. Jack. Captain Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. He was the only one around at the time of the murder. Ooh, ooh. So, can we find him, please? This Crocker. Do you think. It would be interesting to meet him. Our young friend should be able to find him. 100% yeah. legit mystery solving. Yes. Uh, yo, could you find him, please? Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. Um, no yeah. problem, Mr. Holmes. And the kid's just like, yeah, all right. Sometime. Just sometime. Not three Nick, hours, yeah. but sometime. Do you have a... Mr. Holmes, I was informed that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. Yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. Bum, bum, you murder! Yeah, child endangerment. Clear look, honest. Ooh, woo! He ain't on it. Oh, he ain't gonna be honest. Strong build. Strong. Sea knife. Clean boots. Is somebody sweeping back there? That was really weird. Oh, was that Toby? And newspaper ink. Yeah, I know. He had the knife. You are acquainted and he's strong. with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her from when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love, particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant. You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You... and what do you know? That evening, you were with Ugh. Lady Brackenstall, the despite here. the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right. If there was no evidence. What then? Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? Q. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Yes, 
as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed anyway. On the night of the murder, I was oh, no. sharp. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. At night. It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Hmm. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. So, what then? So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. So we found all the clues. Now I understand why you dissected the bell rope. Right, Crocker's involvement. Crocker's lying. His involvement is clear. He appeared as soon as he heard that I was looking for him, thus signaling his guilt. Captain Crocker was aboard the Sharp on the night of the murder. He was not afraid to confront me. He had a comp he had his, a confident demeanor. His eyes were like, oh yeah, it's honest. Like they, he said honest eyes, so let's just check alibi. It had to be this. It's just, it's just gotta be. Jack Crocker is a murderer, and you will bring him to his, him and his accomplice lady Brackenstall to justice. A murder was committed in self-defense. Jack Crocker defended a woman against a violent and dis dis dipsomaniacal man. The mystery is solved, but you decided to keep it secret. There's no need to inform the police. Nah, it's this. Mm -hmm. I told you she's in on it. I told you she was in on it, but then I changed my mind, so I didn't I didn't really tell you that. But Wiggins, I was like could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? Right away. Again, sending a child to danger. Barely an hour Barely. has passed. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? No, the I music. Know, because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailor's knots. And not least, the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow... And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her. For I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He! He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. I admit I killed the monster out of love the for her. You she better be prepared in case she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary. But that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes. You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear. And it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Mary had nothing to do with it. Now it is time to end this. That music was so dramatic. Language. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, 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 w, w, I don't know what to, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. I panicked, I don't know the keyboard that well. To one of my keyboard. <laughs> that scared me so I was like, bad. You should have let me die. How can I live if Mary suffers? I am sorry, Captain Crocker, but there has been quite enough death in this case. I should have kept it a secret. Jeez. Should have kept it a secret. <laughs> me Inspector, too. I give me you too. Sir Eustace's killer. He tried his best to perform his own justice. 
Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yes, it was me. I confess. Here is a piece of evidence that can be used in court. Perfect. A case that went smoothly for once. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Sir Eustace was murdered by Captain Jack Crocker, who was visiting Lady Brackenstall that night. They staged it as a robbery by the Randall gang. Crocker used his sea knife to cut the bell rope to tie the lady and then hid the silverware in the well. He committed a violent crime for which he deserves, uh, I don't know what the word is. Punishment. It is always a punishment. Just a punishment. I don't know what the word is. Um, accept decision. Ye. All right, so hold up. I'm gonna see what time it is. It's been an hour twenty minutes. That was a quick case. It was, but I'm thinking we should probably go because we have schoolwork now that school yeah, is school back started in session. yesterday. So it was a short stream, but we like did an entire case. Yeah. So I feel like it's fine. But we weren't stuck on one we, for three episodes <laughs> for two hours each. But we need to get score done because school is starting back up. Yay. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm already mostly done for today. I just got to finish up some reading. Yeah. American government advanced biology. Here I come. <laughs> All right. I so that was Carter. Sherlock Holmes. Um, and we solved the case first try. <laughs> But our record is second try. We, we, we were we were pretty try. unsure about the first one, so yeah. we pretty much knew we just wanted to see what would happen. Yeah. We pre we pretty much yeah. did it first try. I, I I was like, yeah, this is too easy, but I just can't wait. Whenever we do it the first time, it's always wrong. Yeah, but so tomorrow is a Saturday. Terranum is streaming. I believe Terranum is streaming ten uh, building chat at ten AM Eastern Standard Time. Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, us and the Bacon of Legend, or Larry, or Keith, or whatever you want to call him, will be streaming with us D&D. Um, all times are Eastern Standard Time, and the schedule is down below if you want to go ahead and, and look at that. And we pretty much stream every day except for Thursday, and unless like there's something that there's a reason we can't stream for a particular reason. So, I guess, until next time... Game, Game on! on.